Hello YouTubers. Um, I wanted to just give an update on my locks journey. I decided to wash my hair this past Sunday. So that would have been, let's see, about 14 or 15 days into my initial install. And really the reason I washed it, not because it was itching or because I was having a whole lot of problems with it that were unbearable. Frankly, I started to find myself thinking about my loctician, who's wonderful, by the way, she smokes. Um, and although she didn't smoke, except perhaps on breaks during the install, I just found myself sort of started to think about, you know, the smoke that gets on hand, on her hands very likely when she smokes and the fact that probably just from sweating and tiredness and stuff, how much perhaps dirt just got in my hair from the install. I know I was doing a lot of touching of my hair during that time and then subsequent to that. And then again, like I was thinking just about the fact that she's a smoker and you know, just kind of the dirt. And I was just a little concerned about that. So decided to wash my hair. Of course, used um, the, the Sister Lock wash. It was, I was quite nervous because I wasn't sure, knowing of course that with the first wash, we can't really just get in and, and scrub really heavily, but it was fine. Actually, I think what I found to be what is uh, maybe a good technique is I actually put, um, the shampoo on the tips of my fingers and then was just trying to get to the scalp. Of course, I divided it with my rubber bands and had it sectioned off, which was actually quite the process. Um, and then, like I said, I didn't really let water wash over my hair. I put like, like my hair initial, my head initially under the, the light stream of water. And then I was just using my fingertips again to sort of have some targeted areas all around. And then the same for when I was rinsing, I just um, didn't let my hair be, my head continuously be under the water, but just sort of um, would put it under to let some wash through, to put it under to let some wash through, and that seemed to be just fine. Um, and the only thing I would say that I feel like is a difference is I feel like I have, I don't know if you can really even see the detail of it, but I feel like there's some frizziness along many of the um, locks in there just some frizziness it's not undesirable or it's not you know it's not really bad it's just for me where I tend to be pretty particular with things like that that frizziness um, is just more uncomfortable for me than anything else um, but it's fine I have had some slippage in the back this was actually happening before the wash so we actually it's I don't know it feels like a good amount honestly in in the back part I mean overall it's all good everything is is in place otherwise it was just really in the back um, which pr I, I'm trying to think it probably equates to maybe seven or eight uh, sister locks potentially but especially here now I was as a reminder I did have uh, I'd, I had originally been getting a relaxer so um, there was about this much new growth and the rest was relaxers. So part of me is just wondering if maybe the slippage was because of the texture of my hair. I don't know. But regardless, I'm scheduled in the next uh, four days to get my first retighten, which I'm definitely looking forward to because I'm also noticing the space between um, where it where it seems like the sister lock starts. And I don't know if it's because we didn't originally make it too tight or I can't imagine that it would be growth at this point. So I'm definitely looking forward to the first retighten because obviously I feel like that's gonna be the kickoff of the, the journey ultimately. And um, so again, I don't know what during the retighten if we'll do with, with sort of the frizziness that's coming out of the locks. Um, if anything, we may not be able to do that. But again, just to be able to tighten that up and get this stuff taken care of in the back is what I'm looking forward to. So. I'm still very happy with the locks. I've been trying not to um, wear scarves or anything. I think maybe I've had three or four times where I have put worn a, a silk scarf, nothing too harsh because I don't want to have to, I don't want any breakage and I don't want any problems, um, you know, just trying to keep things as free and as uninhibited as possible so I don't um, have any, cause any unnecessary breaks or or damage otherwise. But otherwise, I've just been wearing it like this. I did have someone at work 
um, who I think she was definitely just curious. So she, I, her question I felt came from a place of really wanting to know. She actually asked if I had, um, if I had gotten weave in my hair, if I had had some extensions put in my hair because she seemed to notice that my hair, at least from her point of view, seemed to be thicker and longer. Um, and I told her that wasn't the case at all. Um, and I think that just goes back to the fact because I wore, I typically had worn my hair really kind of bone straight, um, but for curls that I would put in my hair. So the fact that it's there's more texture and, and all of this, I can understand why she maybe uh, thought that I had some addition added to my hair instead of the fact that it, it's, it is my hair. It's all my natural hair, as you all would know as Sister Lock curious people. So anyway, that's where I just wanted to update. Again, looking forward to my install, or excuse me, looking forward to the retighten in the next few days and hope to be able to uh, upload my next video in response to that. I do feel like there's less scalp that's showing, um, but again, it's it's just, I think, how you rock it and how comfortable you are and and what, you know, what kind of is going through your mind as to whether or not a lot of um, scalp or showing of the tracks bothers you or doesn't bother you or or whatever. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate your interest and um, I look forward to continuing to share in what's going on with my sister locks. Thanks. Peace.